Look at this. I turn on the controller for the Phantom and it's beeping like I don't know what. I'm updating the firmware, but that has nothing to do with that. I charge it, so maybe it will go away, but it doesn't work. Whatever. So I did the firmware update, restarted the transmitter. Now the light is green and it's not beeping anymore. So this beeping is probably most likely because it wants to do a firmware upgrade. Wow. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Hi guys. This is Peter, not your average guy, on the Never Mind Your Own YouTube channel. In the previous video, I flew the Mavic Air. I did a distance test, 3.4 kilometers. Now I want to do the same with the Phantom 4 Pro, just to see if I can get the similar range. And I want to be able to compare the footage. I'm going to record this. I'm going to launch the drone. I'm not going to do precision takeoff. And I'm immediately going that way. Well, one thing you notice, you saw the propellers in view. And we didn't see that with the Mavic Air. So that is good. It says slow right speed. On my SD card. It seems to be a lot faster in the normal GPS mode. And I'm already at like 900 meters. and a kilometer wow that's that's so much faster i'm gonna adjust the camera a little bit and it's at 5.8 gigahertz and now it says transmission signal too weak, so I will go to the settings and um, I think it's okay. It is at five point. It is at two. Now it's at 2.4. Well, um, I have to fly higher because the landscape is going up the hill. So now at 2.4, it's a very good signal, 4 bars out of 5. Now 
now the signal gets weaker so I will go over here and now I got four bars again maximum flight altitude reached So we're at three kilometers now. Just to show you guys, I don't know if you can see that, but I'm 3500, 3600. Forty three hundred. Forty four hundred. And forty five hundred. Now it's lost. It's lost. So now I will return to home. And when it's returning home, I cannot get the signal back yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. getting heavy in my arms. It is telling me it's getting back, but I don't... So we just have to trust the equipment.
unless I made a mistake. Um, I vaguely remember, I don't know what the last flight was, no. it seems there's something wrong. I'm just wondering if I had said it somehow to when the um, uh, connection is lost that it, it has to hover. But I cannot find that setting anymore over here, it's a new app. Are you kidding me? Oh, I hear it. But I still don't have the signal. I still don't have the signal. Now I don't have a signal. That's weird. Okay, so I have to figure out what that was about. It did get a lot further than the Mavic Air. It's a lot faster than the Mavic Air. Now I have to compare the footage and I will let you know like in the next video or something. I hope you like my adventures. It's always exciting. See you on the next video. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to restart the controller and see if I get the signal back. I get the signal back. Wow. So it just... It just lost connection. And it didn't get it back. Wow. But... You see... Next time, if that happens, you might want to turn off the controller and turn it on again. Still, I'm wondering why I cannot find the return to home feature. Maybe because I lost connection. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, here it is. So I couldn't find it because it had lost connection. Okay, but it was just at return to home so that, that was all right so here it is